Bonjour et bienvenue, c'est la modeliste and I am so glad that you are back here in my channel. For today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to pattern draft the final and last variation of extended cap sleeve. This kind of sleeve is popularized by designers like Alexander McQueen, House of Pomon, and Australian fashion designer Alex Perry. It is also widely popularized by Mother Monster herself, Lady Gaga. So let's get this tutorial started. To begin the pattern making process, prepare a sufficient amount of pattern paper to draft the sleeve. Next, get your set in sleeve block and trace it onto your paper. For me, I'll only be tracing the sleeve block until the elbow line for demo purposes. And do not forget to include the center line and the bicep line. Next, let's remove some of the ease from the sleeve cap or crown. From the sleeve cap at the center line, mark down to weights of an inch or 0.6 cm. From this mark, redraw the sleeve cap using a curved ruler. And blend in the lines from the sleeve cap until the underarms. This will somehow eliminate the ease from the cap. And this is the new cap. Next, from the sleeve cap at the center line, mark down 1.5 inches or 3.8 centimeters for the crescent moon cap. From this mark, mark all 3 inches or 7.6 centimeters on each side. And connect these marks by drawing curve lines on each side like so. And this is the complete crescent moon cap. Next, divide each side by 3 to create 5 slash lines at the crescent moon cap. Next, cut out the sleeve from the paper. And cut out the crescent moon cap from the sleeve. Let's set aside the crescent moon pattern first. We will work on this later on. Next, slash through the center line of the lower sleeve until the hem but do not cut beyond. Next, prepare a sufficient amount of pattern paper for spreading technique. And on the middle part of your paper, draw in a vertical guideline. On the upper area of this line, mark out 5 eighths of an inch or 1.6 centimeters on each side. Total of 1.2 inches or 3.2 centimeters. Next, get the lower sleeve and place the pattern right exactly on the marks and tape the sleeve in place. Next, connect the slash line with the straight line. And from this line at the center line, mark up 1.5 inches plus 4 eighths of an inch, total of 2 inches or 5 centimeters to build up the sleeve and the shoulder. From these mark, draw curve lines on each side toward the underarms, creating a new cap for the lower sleeve. Next, get the measurement of the new cap on each side and record these measurements. Next, 
We will depend on the new cap measurement to spread the crescent moon pattern. Next, put your desired sewing allowances on the lower sleeve and cut the lower sleeve from your paper. For the side seams, I have used 1.3 cm and for the new cap and the underarms, I've put 0.6 cm of sewing allowance. And make it sure to notch on these important marks. Next, get the measurement of the crescent moon cap and record these measurements. Next, let's subtract the measurement of the new cap with the measurement from the crescent moon cap to get the value of how much we are going to spread each slash line. So this is how I calculated the measurements. Please pause the video so you can follow the calculations. Next, slash through the slash lines until the cap, but do not cut beyond. Next, prepare another piece of paper for spreading technique. And draw a guideline on the middle part of your paper. Next, from the guideline, mark out 3 eighths of an inch or 1 cm on each side. Total of 6 eighths of an inch or 2 cm. Next, get the crescent moon pattern and place the third slash line right exactly on the marks and tape the pattern in place. Next, do the same procedure, spreading each slash line by 6 eighths of an inch or 2 cm. Next, draw curve lines, mending and blending the slash lines. And this is the complete crescent moon pattern. Next, I will put 2 eighths of an inch or 0.6 cm of sewing allowance on my pattern and cut the pattern out from my paper. And label the front and back to avoid confusion. So these are my patterns for the crescent moon extended cap sleeves. Next, I will use this wool fabric for my mock-up. I'll simply place my patterns on my fabric and cut them in place. I've also marked on these important notches for sewing references. I also fuse an interfacing on each sleeve piece to stabilize the caps. Next, face the pieces from right side to right side matching the notches. For the crescent moon cap, I've marked in the sewing allowance at the edge and match it right exactly with the notch on the new cap. And pin the pieces in place. To combine the pieces together, sew both caps from mark to mark. Next, push all of the sewing allowances on one side and give the curved seam a press. And lastly, I will sew the underside seam to complete the sleeve. Eh, 
voila, so this is my crescent moon extended cap sleeves mock-up. These are the close-up angles. This is the front view. This is the back view. And these are the side angles. And this is the close-up details. For this pattern making technique, I want you to explore and play on it. Be it higher shoulder buildup or just the normal shoulder buildup, but anything is possible. Anyway guys, I hope this tutorial gave you enough tips on how to pattern draft the crescent moon extended cap sleeve. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment down below and I will reply as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. And if you super like this video, please give me a super thanks. And if you're not subscribed yet to my channel, La Modelist, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys again on the next tutorial. A bientôt!